sure, the most legendary car with a Wankel engine. This car is called C111. For its development, it was required a sports car with a height of not more than 1 meter 10, wheelbase 2 meters 62, track 1 meter 44, and at the rear 1 meter 37. Wankel engine in the middle, speed 260 kilometers an hour. In 1969, Mercedes presented the first finished version of the C111. Body made of GFK, three-door, 258 horsepower injection rotary engine as a mid-engine. A revolution. The three times 600 cubic centimeters of the combustion chambers are comparable with a 3.6 liter piston engine. Shortly after the first photos of the alleged super sports car with gullwing doors appeared in the media, the first orders and even blank checks arrived in Unterturkhahn, near Stuttgart in Germany. Despite the achievable top speed of 260 km an hour, the torque of the first C111 proves to be weak. Apparently poor quality workmanship, the plastic body is produced by an external body factory, and problems with the rotary valve engines stand in the way of mass production. Originally, the C111 was to be called the C101, but Peugeot had earlier protected the zero in the middle of the three numbers. Mercedes had no other choice than to call the car C111. Stylistically and taste-wise, a good decision. Designers and engineers were still working with conventional methods, which is pens and plasticine. In addition to the plastic body, they opt for a welded and riveted floor framework group of steel with integrated roll bar. And that time, hard to believe, today still surprising, the handling. Sensitive and precise, soft and yet not vague. The secret of the very well-tuned road position, elastic suspension, tightly cushioned. The C111 is used to testing the Wankel engine. Quickly, it is clear that the three-rotor rotary engine is not the measure of all things. Engineers and designers continue working on it. A few months later, they manage a breakthrough, both technically and in terms of design. In 1970, the Model 2 was produced from the Model 1. Mercedes presents the exotic car at the motor show in Geneva, an optical highlight, and now equipped with a 350 horsepower four-disc rotary engine. A top speed of up to 300 kilometers an hour is possible. The former project manager, Dr. Hans Leibold, brings the car out from the factory museum again to their own test facility. The engineer about his exciting time with the C111. Even when time-wise, it was so that you were occasionally there for up to 36 hours at a stretch. But a lonely enthusiasm of all those who participated, and that was good as no one put any obstacles in the way. And one also had a lot of freedom to try out what you had to try, or what you thought was right. Alone that has a great deal of value for the memory. Exceptional it was, yes, it's actually for us everything, both the plastic body and the story of the Wankel engine, as well as the use of wide tyres and indeed the entire mid-engine concept. Back then everything was completely new to us and from the outset it wasn't fixed what you could make of it. Actually, in our eyes, it was already the legitimate successor to the legendary Gullwing. So what you see here, or really what you don't see, because it's more or less hidden, is the four-disc engine. 
which in this form then generally developed about 350 horsepower. And that engine here in the car is a good specific example, as the engine test engineers built a version with so-called step intake hose. The engine only had about 300 horsepower, but had an incredible almost diesel-like constant torque with 54 meter kilograms over the range of about two and a half to five and a half thousand revs. And here with the engine in this car, you could still break down from fifth gear to a thousand RPM and then just go full throttle. There's no stuttering, nothing that draws evenly and clean up to 7,000 revolutions. That's just what one has with a rotary engine. And then they could not have believed that it could be so elastic and smooth. The thirsty Wankel engine is one reason why in the fall of 1973, in the oil crisis, it falls silent around it. Diesel technology has been a focus of research, and externally, almost unchanged, the C111 2D now drives with a revised five-cylinder, three-liter diesel engine that delivers 190 horsepower. Between June 76 and May 79, the car completed drives on the high-speed track at Nardo, southern Italy, that lead to several absolute world records over various distances. The version C111-4 doesn't have anything in common with the original 111. It should only bring top performance. It's powered by a 4.8-liter V8 petrol engine with 500 horsepower. In May 1979, the model achieves a circuit distance record speed of almost 404 kilometers an hour.